So, TJ, just general thoughts. I mean, you guys, you know, continually seemingly got to the red zone in the second half, but couldn't quite finish job. I mean, finish drive. So, how disappointing was that part of it? Um, it was pretty disappointing not being able to finish. Um, I think I think the offense and the receivers play play really well. Um, getting the drives going, we just got to do a better job of, of finishing the drives whenever we get into the red zone. Kevin, can you go ahead? Hey, TJ, wanted to expand on that a little bit. What do you have to do better? I mean, you've got less room to operate down there. Is it route running? Do you have to be more physical? What are the things you have to do better to turn those into scores? Um, both of those are good points. Uh, we definitely got to be more physical. We got to do a better job of um, getting off of press. We gotta, and we also got to uh, finish the plays. Winston Wright had one um, in the back of the end zone that should have scored, but um, we just got to finish the plays and make the plays when the, when the ball comes to us. Cody Nesper. TJ, do you like how aggressive um, Coach Brown and Coach Parker have been um, going forward on fourth down kind of all season? It, and does that kind of speak to their confidence they have in you guys to go forward on so many fourth downs? Yes, sir. I love it. Um, Coach Brown and Coach Parker do a great job of, of calling the plays whenever whenever the time is needed. And um, us as players, we do it. We try to. We want to go for it all the time. We don't. We don't. We don't want to put the ball in the kicker's hands a lot of times. We want to be the one that make the play. We want to score six instead of three. So um, we be rooting for them to, to go for it on fourth and one and fourth downs. And when they go for it, we we try to execute uh, to the best that we can. Back over to you, Greg. TJ, you took several of those crossers for, for pretty good yardage. So did you guys see something coming in? I mean, I know that's just part of your offense too, but uh, what was it that made that so wide open? Um, crossing routes are, like you said, are a big part of our offense. Um, we got to do a better job of, of attacking attacking downfield and attacking the perimeter just so we can open up the run game. But we seen that they was trying to load the box to try to stop the run, and they was playing two high safeties in the middle of the field was open. So we hit those crossers, and it was my job to catch the ball and, and make a play after. Go ahead, Cody. TJ, what can you tell us about um, what Isaiah has been like this year? There were a couple of plays today where it he just kind of seemed physically dominant out there. Um, one word I can say about Isaiah is, re is resilient. Um, no matter what happens, no matter what, what goes on, he's always ready to play and he's always ready for his name to be called. Um, he's still the same guy he's always been. He's, he's just been ready for his number to get called. And today we needed him to step in and make some plays. And when his number was called, he made those plays. Any other questions for TJ? Go ahead, Greg. TJ, you were one of the few guys, at least offensively, that was on the field the last time you guys were in Austin. Did you think you had another one of those moments coming there at the end? Um, coming down to the end of the game, I was I was hoping that we got it, got in a position to where um, the offense could make a play in order to win the game. Um, when being down in the fourth quarter, going to the end of the game, we we want we usually want the ball to be in the offensive hands instead of the defense. So um, I was hoping I was hoping that we was get we was gonna get the opportunity in order to go down and, and make a game winning drive to win the game like last time. But we just we just didn't um, it just didn't happen that way. 